Prophecy World Hunger's Vacation Bible School 2020, on earth as in heaven, as at home. My name is Ryan Cumming. I live in Michigan, home of the University of Michigan, and their great football team, and even better band. That's our dog, Coco. He likes to hang out on our deck by our plants, and sometimes eat them. I work for ELCA World Hunger, which is a ministry of our church that's committed to making sure that everyone has enough to eat and that everyone has a place at the table. Today's story is focused on daily bread. When we pray, give us today our daily bread, who's the us that we're talking about? Sometimes it's easy to think that the people we pray for are only our friends, our family, or maybe even just ourselves. But when we pray the Lord's Prayer, we're asking God to give daily bread to all of us, all our neighbors around the world. Today's station tells the story of one community that the ELCA prays for and works with to help end hunger. The community in our story today is in the country of Mexico. Mexico is a fascinating place. Did you know that the official name of the country is the United Mexican States? And people have lived in the area that is Mexico for at least 13,000 years. At one point, all or part of eight United States were part of Mexico. Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, Utah, and Wyoming. The national symbol of Mexico is the Golden Eagle, and it's featured on Mexico's flag. Today, we're going to hear about farmers and families in a state in Mexico who have been part of a project supported by our church. Before we get started with our story, let me ask you a question. Where does your food come from? For most of us, our food comes from farms and gardens. Have you ever grown your own food? Farming and gardening are hard work, but they're also special jobs in God's world. We know that God provides everything we need, our daily bread, but we also believe that God provides this through the work of other people, especially farmers and gardeners who grow food. Growing food is part of God's work in the world. Our church works with farmers and gardeners all over the world to help them grow food to feed themselves, their families, and their neighbors. One of the places where our church is walking with our farming neighbors is in the state of Guerrero, Mexico. The town of Illano de las Pierdas is in the mountains of Mexico in the state of Guerrero, and it isn't always easy for the people living there to get the food they need. Even growing their own food can be hard sometimes. What things do you need to grow your own food? Maybe you thought of seeds, water, or sunlight. What if you have animals? How might you keep animals out of your garden? Maybe with fencing. And if you raise animals, you might need things like pens or coops for them to live in. It takes a lot to run a farm or a garden, and sometimes our neighbors don't have all the things that they need to do it. In Llano de las Pierdas, our church is working with an organization called Amextra, which is helping some of the people there get the things they need to grow their own food. This is Ignacio. Ignacio lives in Llano de las Pierdas. Through Amextra and ELCA World Hunger, he received seeds, fencing, and a watering hose to build a vegetable garden in his own backyard. What vegetables is he holding in the picture? If you guessed radishes, you're right. In his garden, Ignacio raises radishes, potatoes, beets, and cabbage. His family eats the vegetables and sells any extra at the market. That way they have food to help them stay healthy and money to buy other things they need. Amextra also helped Ignacio learn how to keep his garden healthy by weeding and watering. Children need lots of vegetables to grow healthy and strong, but they also need protein that comes from nuts, eggs, milk, yogurt, and sometimes meat. This picture is of Imelda and her sister Esmeralda. They live in the community too. Their mother works hard to get them the food they need, but sometimes they don't have enough protein for their bones and muscles to grow. By working with Amextra and ELC World Hunger though, Imelda, Esmeralda, and their mother Marcelina received six chickens 
and materials to build a chicken coop for the animals to live in. A mextra also helped them learn how to raise chickens. Now they can have eggs anytime, and they even have enough left over to sell. That way, like Ignacio, they can have money to buy other things they need. When we have enough good food to eat, we can grow up healthy and strong. And when we work together as church, we can make sure our neighbors have enough good food to eat too. This is one way God helps provide our daily bread, through the gifts of soil, seeds, sun, plants and animals, and through people like Ignacio, Marcelina, Imelda, Esmeralda, and you.